for me, Potion Permit is a better Stardew Valley. I know, that's a very presumptuous title and thing to say. But hear me out. Potion Permit is a resource collection game where you play as the new chemist slash healer in a small town who has been sent there from the big city to help with a request from the mayor and to help the people so they don't get sick or so they get cured faster. You have to collect your own resources from the wilderness and craft them into potions using a very interesting crafting system. And when someone does get sick, you have to diagnose them and then make the right potion to cure their ailment. You also talk to all the people in town and you can increase your friendship with them by talking to them and giving them gifts and this will open up new dialogue, new events, new quests, relationship stuff, you know, like Stardew. So why is Potion Permit a better Stardew Valley? Well, it's a better Stardew Valley for me at least, but what do I actually mean by that? Personally, I can't get very far into Stardew without losing interest because it is a very resource management focused game. Having to balance work working in the farm with going into the cave and having to do everything in a timely manner and try to maximize your farm's profits so that you can buy more seeds and use them to make money to keep repeating that cycle and trying to manage your stamina by doing everything on the farm and going into the cave and just doing trying to do everything in a day while managing so much stuff it's just it's not for me it's the same reason i don't like rim world resource management heavy games are not like they're not my thing. It's just not for me. Do I think Stardew's a bad game? No, I think it's an excellent game, but I think Potion Permit is just more down my own alley. What makes Potion Permit better for me? Based on the eight hours I've played in the demo at the time of writing this, I I've completed the demo and when I'm writing this and recording this, it is the day before the release and I plan to put in at least four to five hours with the full release of the game and that might change some of this. I don't know right now, but currently Potion Permit Permit is more about going out and collecting the resources and exploring the island and managing your stamina that way rather than just managing your resources at the farm. Every resource I've found that can be used for creating potions has been from the wilderness or from fishing. I haven't had to grow anything, water anything, make sure anything is taken care of or looked after, except for, you know, the patients. I never feel like there's not enough time in the day to do everything I need to. The resource management in Potion Permit comes in when you're hunting for ingredients and crafting potions. You have to manage how much stamina you have left from using your tools and how much health you have if you're going after like creature parts. When it comes to crafting potions, you have to manage what ingredients you're using to fill the needed section of the grid to make that potion. Every potion has a grid that needs to be filled in order to make it. You use the ingredients you have obtained to fill that grid, but you only have a certain amount of ingredients you can use depending on the level of your cauldron. Managing how you use your ingredients is very important because of that limitation. There are really only three time sensitive things that I've run into within Potion Permit. Those are store and event times and sick patient times. Store and event times are pretty much the same as every other game like Stardew that uses them. Stores are only open during certain times of the day and on certain days they're closed. Event times are only during specific days after you've achieved a certain level of friendship with an NPC and they only happen during specific times. Sick patient times, on the other hand, are the main mechanic of Potion Permit. After you complete your first quest to heal the mayor's daughter, every now and then, NPCs will get sick and come to the clinic to be treated by you. They will tell you where their illness is, or where they're hurting, where they're itching, whatever, and you have to locate and diagnose it. To diagnose it, you have to do a small mini game, like pressing a button at the specific time, like DDR or Guitar Hero, or playing Simon Says. Then you know what Potion to use and you can either use it if you have it on you or you have to go and make it. If you don't make the potion in time, your reputation will go down and the townspeople will talk to you less. And I think you may get run out of town and lose. I don't know. I haven't had my rep drop that low. There is one thing that I would say needs to be changed about potion permit that would increase my personal enjoyment. The controls are not great. They're all on keyboard and the mouse is just, it's not utilized at all. I 
think the game was made for using a gamepad so that it could be on Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. But I play on PC and I always like playing with mouse and keyboard because I feel like I have more control over everything. Just using the keyboard makes it hard as hell to control the cursor for finding a patient's ailment or for moving around the map. I get that they only have like four degrees of motion in the game because of the art style where you're only going up, down, left, or right. I don't think the game has eight axes of motion. Might be wrong though. But given all that, I think that giving attack and use actions to left click on the mouse would be better instead of having all of the attacks and actions on like the J key, the K key, the O key, the L key. That's my personal opinion. And after all this time with Potion Permit, I would say that's my only real nitpick with the game is the control scheme. At the beginning of the video, I called it a better Stardew Valley for me because it's art style and camera are very close to Stardew's. It's also got a lot of of the same-ish mechanics that Stardew has. But for me, it takes out a lot of the stuff that I personally don't like in Stardew, which is a lot of the tasks that are on the farm. And it puts more of a focus on combat and exploration and kind of slight memorization, but there is a menu and journal that you can look at to see where the stuff is. So it's more of just focus on combat and exploration to achieve stuff, to basically achieve the same thing as Stardew. So instead of planting seeds and combat constantly watering or trying to automate them so that you can either sell them or use them to complete tasks for the villagers or complete the book or something. In Potion Permit, you're out exploring the island and looking for different animals and plants to harvest for parts. That's why I think Potion Permit is a better Stardew Valley for my ADOS ass. If you don't know what ADOS is, it means attention deficit. Ooh, shiny. So there you guys have it. That is my first impressions of Potion Permit after about 10 hours. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe check out my first impressions video on the new free-to-play FPS Shatterline. If you haven't seen that one, I did upload it like a week ago. Maybe you haven't seen it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it does really help me out trying to build up to 200 subs right now.